FMD is one of the most important contagious diseases of cattle and other cloven-hoofed livestock and wildlife. And therefore, every attempt should be made to diagnose and control this high-impact disease. In cattle suffering from FMD, erosive to ulcerative lesions are usually present in the mouth, particularly at the tip and or on the dorsal surface of the tongue, inside of the lips, buccal cavity and hard palate, and the interdigital skin and coronary band of the hooves. Buffalo calves are born free of FMD but become susceptible to infection which they acquire from the permanently infected carrier adults as soon as their maternally acquired immunity declines at four to six months of age. In FMD outbreaks, epithelium of the necrotic or vesicular mouth lesions is collected on ice or in transport medium for submission to a laboratory to confirm the diagnosis. In addition to regular vaccination of cattle surrounding the Kruger National Park, there are strict movement control measures of infected buffaloes and their products, such as meat. To isolate new variants from carrier buffaloes, a probat, a cup-like instrument with sharp edges, is passed through the mouth into the oropharynx, where the virus is maintained in the lining epithelium. After collection, Tissue is preserved in a special transport medium and submitted to an appropriate laboratory for isolation and confirmation of the presence of the FMD virus and for typing. <laughs>